<coughs> the moose's mammaries made milk most men would mysteriously masturbate to. What do you mean I'm insane? Voice in my head? But what's up guys? This is Testry. Coming to you live from his room in his very depressing apartment. Just jokes, this isn't live. I am in my room though, and it's very depressing. Anyways, thank you to every one of you who have watched my past quiz videos on the Harry Potter Pottermore quizzes, as well as the 16 personalities quiz. <laughs> oh god. And today, thanks to this user here, I thought I would do the mental age quiz. Now look, I'm not gonna be surprised if I take this quiz and it turns out that my mental age is five, because I have to question the mental age of anyone who still laughs at their own farts and someone who thinks that dogs wearing human clothing is the funniest thing in the planet. <laughs> A dog's wearing a sweater. But again, if the quiz ends up telling me that my mental age is 90, I will also not be surprised. Because I really fucking hate people and I constantly smell of soap and death. But yeah, so I have no idea what this quiz is gonna be like, but let's just get into it. Alright, let's do it. The current Prime Minister slash President looks too young. Okay. <laughs> Or old. I like how there's an option for just okay, like, he's just okay. I'm gonna say old because I've seen several photos of President Trump with the Grim Reaper standing behind him, so let's go with that. You get passed on a motorway by a Ferrari. You think, number one, sweet. <laughs> I love that answer. Bet the driver is a wanker. It could be walker, though, too, from like The Walking Dead. The driver is a walker. Oh my god. They'll not get there any quicker or not surprising you were only going 50 miles per hour. The weird thing about this question is that usually my first thought thought is actually sweet. But then my second thought is, man, I bet that guy's an asshole. So it's like, which one do I pick? I usually think more about how much the driver is an asshole. So I think we're going to go with that one. The best thing on TV is, and this one's fucking hard, actually. It's mostly between the Simpson or nature documentaries, because I don't know why, but half the time where I'm actually watching TV, because I don't watch, you know, that much TV, it's like, I'll be specifically wanting to watch one thing. And then somehow I'll end up on a fucking 14 hour documentary about bees. I'm like, when the fuck did I start watching this? But if any questions come up about how much bees like to pollinate, I'm your guy. Uh, but I'm actually gonna put there's never anything good on TV because I usually just don't watch TV. You find an old shirt in the wardrobe. You can't believe you ever wore that and throw it out. Keep it for decorating. Consider giving it to charity. Put it on. Wonder how you managed to fit in it. Wardrobe? <laughs> Uh, definitely not the first one because I always find shirts that I just find fucking hilarious and I'm like, WHEN DID I GET THIS?! I found a shirt like two weeks ago of just Robin Williams face upside down and I have no idea where it came from. And my problem is that usually I keep every single shirt that I ever own, so I think I would probably just say, keep it for decorating. Yeah. Baseball caps look better backwards or forwards? Oh man, what a tough decision. Well, seeing as how everyone I've ever seen with a baseball hat on backwards was a failure at life, I'm gonna actually put forwards on this one. Dire Straits were Air Guitar Heaven, who? Cheesy or not like today's musicians they could actually play. You know what? I don't even know who the fuck Dire Straits is, but I'm gonna go with this last one because new music is the worst shit ever. You know that one song by Carly Rae Jepsen, the one that's like, I really, 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 really like it. That song says really 62 times in it. I count it. And it's not only the fact that she says it that many times, but also really is not a word that you should use in fucking sentences anyways. Like any new rap music that I ever listen to is like, she got me boo. Up, looking like a hoe who's fused up. That doesn't even make sense. What? It's like one fucking note, the whole song, and it just sucks. Ah! Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna pick not like today's musicians. Fuck's sake. You're planning a house party, you think about telling your neighbors. No. Absolutely not. You make sure you've got enough chairs. Find out where the cheapest vodka is. Make a list of the people you aren't going to invite. Or plan which games to play. You know what? This question is unfair because I don't have house parties. Yeah, no, literally the last person that was in my house besides me or my girlfriend was my fucking mom and that was like two months ago. So yeah. But if I were to have a house party, I'd probably just play video games the whole time, which doesn't even sound like a party. So yeah, I'm just gonna click that one. The best way to become rich is, I wish I fucking knew, to win the lottery to work hard to become a footballer. <laughs> a footballer. I like how that's not, it's like not a football athlete. Um, let's go with work hard because I'm actually one of those people who thinks that working hard is the best way to do things. Oh yeah. You see someone fall over in the street. Do you laugh? <laughs> Run over to make sure they're okay. Thank the heavens it wasn't you. Shake your head and think Muppet. What? 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to hell for this answer, but I'm gonna put laugh. How do you not, though? Like, really, life is fun. What you make it. All about family. I am of the belief that life is pretty much what you make it, and I'm also of the belief that life is constantly trying to fuck you in the asshole, and that the only way to win at life is to fuck life in the asshole. So yeah, I think we're gonna put what you make it. That seems like the most logical, suitable answer. Birthdays are... Weird, I'm not seeing depressing and a time for me to watch Twilight on this. Damn it. Although there is something to ignore thank you. Yes, that's the one. That's the one for me. You finish your meal in a restaurant, you make sure you go to the toilet before you leave. I almost want to pick that one because I think I poop at least seven times a day. Not healthy, I know. You don't need to tell me. You don't need to write that in the comments. I know. For some reason, yeah, I just poop a lot. Yeah, I legit am gonna pick the make sure you go to the toilet before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's definitely like the old lady answer, but whatever. I just got to visit the toilet. One second. <laughs> okay, that was nice. And finally, the last question. The iPad is revolutionary. A pointless gadget. Expensive. Cool. Or something which helps prevent embarrassing moments. No, no, no. Yeah, no, in fact, I think that iPads probably promote embarrassing moments. I think I'm gonna go with a pointless gadget. <laughs> All right, so my mental age is apparently 33. Not bad. I'm actually kind of surprised that it was somewhat accurate. You know, I wasn't like too old or too young. Well, there you guys go, I guess. Uh, but if you want to take this quiz, you can check out the link in the description and let me know in the comments down below what you got. Also, if you have any ideas for quizzes that you want me to take, make sure to leave those in the comments down below as well. I don't know though, these are just so fun and I have fun doing them, so. With that said guys, I will see you next time for another really random quiz video. I love you all, and fair wins.